Uh, I was born in Cali, Colombia, uh, in South America, and I was adopted actually when I was two years old. And uh, my parents moved me, my adoptive parents moved me to Lexington, Massachusetts, which is uh, about 20 minutes outside of Boston. So I'm a Boston kid. When I was looking at schools, I was looking at colleges, I, um, uh, I looked at Temple University, which was uh, an option that my dad came up with. And um, I went to visit it. I really liked Philadelphia. I liked the, um, the jazz scene here. This was about 1999 or so. Um, a lot of a lot of clubs at the time, a lot of great musicians, uh, a lot of history. And I met uh, Terrell Stafford, who uh, is now the director of the program. And uh, Terrell was really the one who, who convinced me to, to make the move to Philadelphia and to go to Esther Boyer School of Music at Temple University. So I went there in 2000 um, to 2004. And once I graduated, I just I had had a wonderful experience here. So I decided to stay here and just see what the scene you know, had to offer for me, or what I had to offer for the scene as well. Um, I had a teacher named David White. Uh, I was taking lessons from him when I was about maybe 13, 14. He introduced a piano book to me called Oscar Peterson Jazz Etudes. And I learned, I think, all the etudes in that book. And I'd never heard of Oscar Peterson. Uh, and he got me a couple albums, Night Train, was probably one of my first, uh, I, I'm sure that was my first uh, Oscar Peterson album. And listen to that, he incorporated the soul and the blues that I had heard in Ray Charles's music and Stevie Wonder's music. He had the facility of, uh, you know, Art Tatum, who I had heard about, and, and many of the other jazz greats. Uh, and he just, he, he had his own thing. He had this thing that nobody else has ever had. And a lot of people try to sound like him. I know I tried to sound like him for years. But I think that was probably the artist that really got me into the style that I'm, that I, you know, my style of playing. Um, and I think for maybe five years or so, I was addicted to Oscar Pierce. And I had to, it got to the point where I actually had to force myself not to listen to him, to listen to somebody else, just so I didn't sound like a bad copycat.
every time I play a concert or play like a show and I'm enjoying myself, I always have a moment kind of, of clarity, like this is what I want to be doing. You know, and I had, I had a couple times tonight, I looked at the audience and the, it was a good audience tonight. Not a lot of people, um, but you know, numbers don't, not always necessary to have big numbers. Um, people seem to really enjoy it. Um, and I was enjoying myself and that's basically, that's what it is. That's what we're going for.